All right, so let's first start off with making a new file here, guys, just to make sure you got this, right? Your last name, your first, and the project, Media Arts Collage. And you're going to make it either 8 by 10 inches or 10 by 8 inches. Whatever you want, make sure these are inches. Make sure this is pixels per inch, set to 100. Make sure this is RGB color. For example, if it's accidentally on grayscale, you won't be able to make any color things in it. It's all going to be black and white and gray. Okay. I like my backgrounds transparent. You can have a background if you would like. All right. So here's our document. And we went through most of it the other day. I just wanted to show you guys the text tool here. So here we go. So we click in there. And here we've got some text. OK, one, we can select it of course, and oh, change our font. Okay, there we go, Transformers. And, okay, a couple of things here. One, we want to note that a regular layer looks like this, right? This is a pixel-based layer. You've got images on there, or whatever. Okay, a text layer is a special kind of layer that looks like this with the T in there. Okay, this is important to know because this allows the computer to recognize it as text. We can change our letters. We can make change the font. Okay, now the problem with this is that you can't do other specific things with a text layer, uh, like add filters. Okay, for uh, most of the, most of the time, uh, there's a lot of these adjustments you can't do. There's certain things you can't do to text layers. Um, you can't do this distort or perspective. OK, so let's say we wanted to do some of those things, though. Uh, once we're happy with our text the way it is, we know we don't need to change the letters and things. OK, we can do something here. We can right click or control click on this and go simplify layer. It's going to change it from a text layer to just a regular layer. Now, once it's like this, okay, we can do, let's deselect that, stuff like this. Select certain parts of our image here. Let's uh, option and scroll wheel, zoom in. Okay, we've got this selected, just this area. I remember this background is transparent. There's no pixels here. Okay, and I can go, let's do a free transform, Command T, to just this area. Okay, I can stretch this out if I want. Let's apply that. Deselect this. Okay, for that matter, I could select part of this. It doesn't need to be that big, right? But um, just leave a little space there. I could select this part, stretch that out. Let's do a control transform on this. Okay, it starts to do funny little things like this. If we wanted to clean that up, we could select that and delete backspace. Okay, uh, what else can we do here? Let's just mess, let's just do this another time. Command T, transform. Right, we can stretch this up bigger. We can. We could also do stuff like this. What if we cut this out and paste it so that we've got a little space between top and the bottom half of this? Okay, we can do this as well. Let's cut and paste this. Okay, let's say we wanted to line these gaps up here so that they're the same. Let's look up here in our menu and our window. Okay, we want to make sure that we've got our, uh, sorry, not window, under view, our rulers turned on. Okay, your screen might look like this, minus the rulers there. If they're turned on, if we click inside here with our move tool selected, okay, or our other tools, but some of them won't let you do it. Uh, let's just zoom in here. Click right in the middle, click and drag out. We're going to pull out this guide that we can use and just let go. It's going to create a line 
that's not really part of our image. It's just like an overlay. Okay. And now we can line up. This bottom part's already lined up with it. Let's select this top part. We're going to go to the layer here. Right now it's attached to the rest of the stuff. Right? That's a bit of a problem. So we've got to isolate that part. We can use our arrow keys to move objects as well. Okay, let's go in here and go back to our marquee tool. Let's select this. We've got to isolate this onto its own layer, so we'll cut it out, paste it. And now we can line this up. Okay, another thing we could do with this little guide is go drag a, our marquee tool here. Across this, we can see that it sticks up a little bit too high. Right, so we're going to do our uh, subtract, and then let's come down and line that up with that. All right, delete this. Okay, so we've got this line right through the middle of our layers, kind of visually linking all of the layers, all of our letters. Okay, helping to unify them. Well, each of the letters do look different enough to make them sort of interesting, although I think this looks really bad down here. So let's fix this. Um, let's delete this and something down here would be nice though maybe even just like a block that's the same as this okay I'll make it exact I'll make it right up to the edge even though I don't want it just so I can line it up properly we make a new layer. Let's fill it in with that color that we've got. Now let's come back from this direction and just delete it so there's a space there. Run that same layer. Okay, maybe we want to make this a little shorter next. Let's do this. Okay, let's duplicate this command option. We'll just drag this out as a copy. Let's do another one here. And another one. Let's make this one a little thinner. Okay. So, what else do we want to do here? We can do, let's do this. Okay. We can make our font smaller just by resizing this whole image here. And let's try this. Just like we want to, let's say we want to make a selection of our text here. Okay. We command click inside of our box here. We've got a selection made. And now if we make a new layer, we've got the shape of all our letters. Okay, we can fill this in with like a gradient if we wanted to. Let's switch this to our foreground background. There we go. Okay, so we could do something like this. We can uh, make another selection of that. We've got another new layer. Let's come back the opposite direction with it. And maybe let's just move this one a little bit. We could do something like this. Let's put a different, an unweight background back there so we can see this. Um, how about something gray? There we go. And last thing I'm going to show you guys is kind of cool. Let's take our 
initial text layer here. Let's turn this stuff off. Where'd the rest of this go? There we go. All right. Let's get rid of these two. We can just click back these and drag them up out of the way. All right, so we're going to look at something new here, guys. If you zoned out on me, okay, wake back up so that you can see this part. So I want to go through it again. Okay, if we click on this effects tab, if you don't see it there, you're going to go to the window menu in the top and click on effects. Okay, you can turn these off and on. Here we go. And then the second one over, yours might look like this. This one right here is layer styles. Okay, you guys need to know how to do layer styles. So within that layer styles tab, there's a whole bunch of different types of layer styles in this drop down menu. Okay, we can click on bevels, for example, and let's apply a bevel to this. Just by double clicking this. Okay, let's pull my layers out here so I can see them. <laughs> Now, if I, this little FX symbol here indicates that there's a layer style on this layer. Okay, if I double click on this, I can adjust the size of this bevel. Okay, click OK. Now let's go back here and we're going to do a drop shadow. There's different kinds, we'll double click to apply it. And here we can adjust the size of this drop shadow the distance that the shadow is away from our letters. Incidentally, we can apply layer styles to any layer, not just a text layer, but it can be really useful to create some more interesting looking text. Okay, we can add a glow either from here or by going and reapplying it over there. Let's apply this outer glow. You can even choose the color for it. This looks like it needs a warmer color here, let's do this. Alright, here's the size of our glow. Not to be confused with our drop shadow. Okay, so now the good and bad thing about this is that because this is a layer style, anything on this layer is going to have this effect applied to it instantly. Okay, you could go and try to do similar effects by making selections around your edges and filling them in with colors and feathering the edges of your selection, etc., etc. Um, but then you can't just change this, right? Like this, and it's going to redo everything for us automatically because the layer style applies to anything on that layer. Now. We can, of course, apply a layer style to any other layer here. And we'll see here, even if we take a paintbrush on this layer, this is not a text layer, right, and paint something on here, it's going to apply our drop shadow. Let's get a different color. Uh, let's put some white down here. Okay, we can see that our drop shadow are all the same on this layer. Okay. If I take my eraser, I can go back and erase this thing. I could erase parts of this as well. Okay, maybe I want to do that on purpose. Let's make the opacity of my brush a bit more. And I'll hold down the shift button so that I stay in a straight line. And we can go and erase parts of this just to see what it looks like. Okay, so lots of cool stuff that you guys can do with text. What I don't want to see on your project is just text like this. Okay. Do something extra to it. Add a layer style, make selections from it, fill it in with a gradient if you want, on a new layer. Okay, 
We can make another selection of it. We can add a stroke or outline to it. If we want to, we can add layer styles to this. Okay. So do something cool with it. All right, the end.